so as part of being a well-rounded person and trying to make sure I find time for everything in life, I've decided to spend the next couple hours with the twins at the driving range and playing a few holes of golf. I have a golf tournament coming up June 10th that I have to be a part of for the Bo Porter Academy. It's a celebrity golf tournament, so I need to brush up on my game. So we're gonna be doing that now here for the next few hours, so come along. So I was told our tea time was at one. <laughs> ah, get over here to the tea box. There's people in front of us. There's people behind us. Uh, yeah, tea time's not till 1.30. So, yeah, so, got the twins practicing their putting. I'm sitting here trying to catch up on some work while I have some free minutes. Anyways, here we go. Beautiful. Zach's playing from the tips, Zane's playing from the ones. I'm playing from the fours because I'm the ladies. I didn't think that because if I missed it and they did the same thing, it would have been the in the junk. Wow. What was that? I don't know. You're over swinging. Letting one of the twin grandsons drive me home from the grocery store today. <laughs> I'm in the back because the golf clubs are in the front seat. Okay. My chauffeur. Chauffeur, take me home, please. Okay. <laughs> Driver, take me home. <laughs> He's doing good. So we had to put groceries here because we have golf clubs in the trunk. The other twin is with their mom. And then my golf clubs are in the front seat. So I'm back here. I'm being driven home with my driver. <laughs> Uh, gotta let him practice driving. Should have a movie going, good lord. Why don't I have a movie going? Because we're five minutes from the grocery store, that's why. Anyways, fun day of golf. Fun day spinning it with the grandkids. And we're home. Yeah. Open sesame. Okay, so we got guys over here at the pickleball court. They are power washing the pickleball court so they can do some new fresh paint because the blue is okay, but we need to uh, add the green and then do the new gray that's got the texture in it. So they're busy over here doing that today Got them over here, and then over yonder by the um, Porta Cache on Tashina's place, we've got somebody, and they're gonna start taking off the roof on the Porta Cache so we can raise the Porta Cache. Okay, so we have Sergio's guys here. They just got done power washing, and it looks like they are over there taping, getting ready to Put on the new paint and new colors. It's gonna be super exciting. And then we have the guys working over behind the house. So I will keep you all updated on the pickleball court and how it turns out. Okay, my garden is doing so good. Like, okay, so you can clearly see this is loaded 
with little tiny baby tomatoes. But look over here. I just picked up the tomato plant. Look, I got some big old tomatoes down here. I got some big tomatoes coming in over here. Look at that. Whoa. It's gonna be so amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So excited. I got me a cute little red tomato today. Everything's doing so good. We just picked a ton, ton of cilantro. Sent some home with Carolina. Oh my God, look at how cute is this. I got little tiny baby green peppers. Oh my God, yay. Parsley's doing good. Look at here. My sweet peas and my green beans are growing like crazy. It's doing good, doing good, doing good. So he's over here and he's starting to take off the gutter system. So we've got to take off the gutter system, then we've got to take off the roof. So they can get ready to disassemble this whole portiche roof and get ready to raise it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gotta go higher. So they're looking at the flashing and everything because they're gonna have to bring in new flashing once they tear this metal roof off. So it's a process, guys. It's a process, but we'll get it done. Okay, so we're outside standing here during the eclipse. What time is it, Fab? 1.36. Okay, so supposedly around 1.40, we were supposed to be in a total eclipse in totality. But the sky is, of course, cloudy and dark and gray. And the lights around the house and everywhere has come on but we still are not dark, like dark. So I don't know if we're gonna go dark. I don't know. I mean, the lights are all on, like it's turning nighttime. It'd be interesting to see if the chickens go in the coop. Cause see, chickens automatically go in the coop when it goes dark. You don't have to go put them in. They, as soon as it turns dark, uh -huh. you see them just run and go inside. Smart. You don't have to round them up or do nothing. It's a little bit darker over that way, but I don't, I don't see any total, and you'd think the sky would be like really dark because even though, unless the clouds are making it stay light, I, but how can the no, clouds, think, like you said, the sun's out, the sun's the out up there, the, the sun is out yeah. up there. So you'd think it would be like dark because I want to see all this dark, right? Then I'll believe it. So Fab's, Fab's not intrigued. <laughs> He's like, I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> I'm like, wow, everyone's just going crazy. But I don't, so I, I want, I came out here because I thought, oh, I'll just share it with all of you that live somewhere else in the world or live somewhere else in the United States that aren't really getting the effect of it because even though it's cloudy here, the sky should still be going dark because that's what lights up the sky is the sun. So above those clouds is the sun shining but it's not really, what time is it? Oh, we got two minutes. Hopefully in two minutes, all I see is your pearly whites. <laughs> Cause you'll, bl your, your outfit's black. <laughs> yeah. So, you'll just be able to oh. see my was that? Like right now it looks like it's just a thunderstorm. No, I know it just, it seems like it's a dark thunder cloud yeah. day. Like, okay. So it's kind of gray and cloudy. Cause it's, Actually, over north, no, it's not not really gray over there either. So I don't know where this total blackout's going to happen. But they said at 1:40. <sighs> I hear the thunder. You know, when we were little kids, what? Because we were scared of the thunder. Mm -hmm. So we were always told that that was God knocking over the potato barrel, and those were potatoes. Interesting. Rumbling. 
in heaven? Yeah. Oh, God just knocked over the potato barrel. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, Mr. Totality. See, I, I just keep thinking a total black, like... Like, I want it to go... Whoosh. Black. Yeah. I don't see it happening. We don't got no classes. No. We're not set up. No. <laughs> no. Didn't prepare for this at all. <laughs> but see, we knew it was going to be cloudy and rainy here. So, it was like, why bother getting glasses? Why bother doing any of that when we weren't going to see anything? We would have had to have drove, traveled, something. 140. 140. Oh, let me see. Exact time. 140. 140. And I don't see total totality. Yeah, all the lights are on like it's supposed to be dark. It's funny. I bet the chickens are all going inside the chicken coop because they think it's time for bed. It's funny. The first couple days I had the chickens, uh -huh. I'd go out there, start rounding them up. Yeah. And then my neighbor's like, no, oh, you don't need to round them up. They know. They know how to go in on their own. Okay, well, we didn't experience the total totality here. It didn't even get darker than this. Other people did. Yeah, other places did. Mexico did. Somewhere down by Clear Lake, by NASA did, but not up here. Okay, well, Boo. the show wasn't as great as we anticipated. <laughs> now we know we don't need to be news anchors. So See? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, anyways, we thought we'd be able to capture some darkness, but I've seen it get dark like this on a regular thunderstorm yeah. day. That's why it feels a little different. Yeah. I mean, it is only barely one, but. Almost two. Oh, this should have been dark. Yeah, everything should have just turned black, I would have thought, but. Okay, sorry guys. We tried. We tried. Watch, as soon as you start press recording, it's gonna happen. So we're gonna create an outdoor golf driving net area here for the twins. So we're gonna go 14 feet wide. By how long? It's gonna be, That's 24 right there. Twenty-four feet? That's twenty-four feet. Yeah. So fourteen feet wide, twenty-four feet long. And then we're gonna go sixteen feet high. Yeah, so 14 wide, 24 foot long, 16 foot high. And put all, all netting. And we're going to put a roof over it. The roof will be kind of like that roof that's over my... That way, even when it's raining, the twins can be out here hitting. Alright, so we have the guys back behind my house digging holes because this is where they're going to be building an outdoor indoor I guess if that's what you want to call it um, a golf simulator so this is the start of it can't wait to see what it looks like finished everyone's going to be excited Okay, so they're starting to build the outdoor golf driving range. It's going to be literally netting. Do you get uh, dinged for Mexican music? Or is it just American music? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we'll see. We'll 
Go ahead, Fab, start singing because we need your voice over the, all this. It's Anyways. It's going to be huge. I thought you were just going to build a little like that. No, 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 no. It's got to be 16 foot tall, 14 foot wide, 24 foot long. And they're, they're going to hit golf balls into it. So, yeah. Eh. yeah, 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 yeah. So they've got three of the posts put in. Got one more to put in tomorrow. And I've got to find this netting to put up here for this golf indoor, outdoor driving range thing. So it's going to be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So see how much progress they make tomorrow. The concrete is poured for all of the posts. And they're just working away. It's windy today, but it doesn't seem to be affecting them. So, it's coming along pretty quick. So they are busy working on this outside golf structure. So they're doing the uh, two by fours or two by sixes, whatever those are. I think they're two by fours around the bottom because we're going to build a platform for them to stand on. And then we're going to build the roof over the top of it so that it's enclosed. Not enclosed, but it has a roof over it. So even if it's raining, they can be out here in this structure hitting golf balls. And then these guys just showed up from 314 Roofing, and they're the ones that put this metal roof on this ricochet. So he's gonna determine what materials they need, because they're gonna be taking this off this week so they can take this roof apart so we can raise it up two foot so we can get those portable luxury bathrooms through here to put back there for the fashion show in November. And they've got to get this done now before we cement this in May. So, lots of workers on the property again. I just don't want the water dropping right here. It's got to drop out there. And then I'll put rock everywhere. Creo que el Yodiceo lo podemos hacer un poquito más salido para acá, para que nos quede un poquito más salido el... Lo de la cornisa. What links does those come in? Uh, I think we have different... I may be able to get them. Well, this is 24. So you need 25. At least 26 foot long. Yes. And then it's 14, yeah. and then it's 14 wide. You think you think this is long enough for them to hit to hit the ball, or they should be like if we can if we can do another place here if you want, and they want to go a little farther than this or, or that long. Should be long enough, but sure. even if they hit their driver, they're gonna hit it. It's gonna go up. Right, right, right. That's why we want it so tall. So, this should be, this is 24 foot. What, what, I'm, what I was thinking also is if you want, I can do the roof sticking out from this, like another two foot if you want. I can start the metal from almost three foot that way. But I can do the joists like come out from this end yeah. about another two foot if you want. Because so, I mean, if it's if it's raining sideways, mm -hmm. they're not going to be out here. Right, right, right. But if That's it's true. raining straight down, and like not torrential rain, but just raining, they can be out here, and they shouldn't get that wet. Right. But 
Yeah, maybe if we go a foot that way. You think two foot this way? Yeah. Just to block the rain. Mm -hmm. And that's the south, so that will provide some shade. Correct. Because that's the south, so if they're standing here, it could be hot. I can always get a couple umbrellas. Block more of the sun. Well, you know what I was thinking? When I had my driving range like this, I call it a driving range, and my health clubs in Cheyenne, I had, they hit into a net, but behind the net, I had a piece of that, like the well, side of the tent. Okay. That, that vinyl mm -hmm. hung behind. So when they hit, it not only hit the net, but it hit the vinyl, the vinyl. which kind of stopped the ball. Right, right. Which gave them the noise. Right, right, right. So they have the base built. All they have to do is stick ply board on it. And then we're gonna stick artificial turf on it. And then at the far end down there, there'll be rubber flooring with turf on it so they can hit into the golf netting area. So, yeah, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be cool. Yay, the storm has passed. <laughs> so nice over here in this Houston. It was like storm. dark and rainy. <laughs> the weather's well, over here. Well, see, you gotta come to the right side of town. <laughs> uh-huh. You gotta come to the right side of town. Oh my god, I've missed these walks. Yeah. It's exercise, but it's not really exercise because you don't feel like you're exercising. Stay the body moving. You just you're just walking and talking. So welcome back. I'm still here. <laughs> They're like, is he really here? We can't get rid of him. It was just for the video. <laughs> no, I'm here. You guys so, are so sweet. I know, I know, I know. The million dollar question. What's the million dollar question? Why'd you leave? I left because I was in my head and I was young <laughs> and immature and I thought I knew everything about life and I thought, why do I gotta listen to these older people in my life who think they know what they're talking about? <laughs> and come right. to find out, they actually have all the answers. I think it's called knowledge. There you go. I think it's called knowledge. So I joined the vault to <laughs> gain all that knowledge. <laughs> no, like so, on a serious note. Yes. You know, um, I know. I know when you left. I thought, I thought the tree was falling <laughs> down. I know when you left. There was all kinds of speculation and all kinds of hate and all kinds yeah. of whatever, whatever, whatever. But you know what? 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 Most of you don't understand and realize is that everybody goes through shit mm -hmm. and sometimes you can't express what you're feeling mm -hmm. I mean you can but sometimes you don't know how mm -hmm. sometimes you don't even understand it yourself yeah and so you just know you're going through some, through some shit and so you make decisions e we're getting a little gust of wind Hopefully it's not breaking your eardrums. <laughs> but you, you, so you tend to make decisions mm -hmm. that maybe you think are right mm -hmm. because that's what you think. Yeah. And then maybe later on you come to find out that maybe that wasn't the best decision to 100%. have made. And so, but you know, a lot's happened in the last year and a half. Has it been a year and a half? Yeah. Yeah. A Ooh. lot has happened. 18 months. A lot of growing. A lot of self-reflect, a lot of growth. Um, yeah, just a lot. But I, I, I missed, I missed this, and I was focusing on other things and building that, and it's going great. But I felt I wasn't being able to do other things that I love doing, which was content creating, and and I was fully prepared, guys, for when I reached out to Teresa. She didn't reach out to me. I reached out to her. I was fully prepared for a no. I was prepared for, you know. Yeah, because you had no idea what I was going to say. Absolutely. I was already prepared. And I wasn't, I was honestly, 
I don't want to say embarrassed, but I was like, I was like, I, I don't think I can reach out. I was like, but it was heavy on my mind. I was like, the worst they could say is no, and it's not for right now, you know? Yeah. It's not gonna work out. Well, because you've also kept up with me. Yeah. You knew I had created a team. Yeah. So you, you, you didn't know. skip a beat. You're, everything was still going and becoming better and better and better. So I didn't, I was like, well, I wanted to come and see if I could still offer something or are you good? Um, so that's when I reached out and I was like, do you have any thing I can be a part of or help with? And then we got on the phone and we chatted and. Right, so okay. y'all know, for those of you that don't know, um, in this past year, um, Fab lost his father. Yes. At an untimely young age. Yes. Um, horrible, mm -hmm. horrible. And so, you know, the year that you got to spend with him mm -hmm. leading up to his death was yeah. probably invaluable. Like you couldn't, you couldn't even put a, put a price tag when on When I it. didn't even know. When you didn't even know. That's the crazy thing like. And that's the, and that's the thing with life. You don't know. You don't ever know. Like none of us have a crystal ball. None of us ever know what lies ahead. Mm -hmm. So that's why I always try to tell everybody, you need to wake up every day Thank the God, the heaven, the, thank God and mm -hmm. the heavens and the angels and everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank them profusely for you to still be able to wake up, open your eyes and still be here. Yes. But that's why you also need to take advantage of loving those people and caring for those people that you care about the most each and every day too, because mm -hmm. you don't know. You, don't you know. did not know the night you went to sleep. Nope. That the next day. Nope. That my whole world was going to change. Your dad did not wake up. Nope. I was like, I already had my week planned. I went to the park. I was like, okay, we got to do this this week. And then that night, found out everything. And So who found him? Everything shot up. My brother. Mm. So was it at night or in the morning? Uh, like evening. So he went into, yeah. say, dad wake up? Mm -hmm. Thought he was probably taking a nap? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. And you're like, wow, I didn't even get to say goodbye. Exactly. You know, and so exactly. that's why I try to tell you guys all the time, you just need to make sure you live your best life every single day. Mm -hmm. um, even though on those days where you don't feel like living your best life, you need to because you don't, you, have to. you don't know what lies ahead. You don't know what is gonna happen with any of us. Yeah. None of us know. Nothing's promised. So anyways, Fab reached out last week. Wanted to know if I had any availability on the team for him and whatnot. Um, and I could have been a bitch. I could have been a bitch and said, nope. No, we're good. Nope, we're good. I didn't appreciate the way you left mm -hmm. and have a nice life. Yeah. But I had a very long conversation with him that night mm -hmm. after I read the email mm -hmm. and we talked and um, you know, I've always left the door open with Fab. Uh, I invited him last year to Fashion Woodlands mm -hmm. and he graciously came. Mm -hmm. um, that was shortly after your dad passed away. Yeah. And I felt like that was something that you needed to bring a little fun and yeah, it really whatnot into your life, was, you know. Yeah. So I, you know, and that's, that's what I've always told Fab. I said, you know, I've never had anybody that's ever worked with me ever leave and never stay in touch with me mm -hmm. or not be friends yeah. with me. Like every single person I've ever worked with, I'm still in friends with, we're still on social media together. Mm -hmm. Like before you was Corey, yep. before Corey was Riley. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean like, so I've never ever had anybody leave on bad terms no. and stay bad terms yeah. or anything. And so anyways, we had a long, long talk. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, um, it took me a couple of days to, yeah. you know, evaluate the team talk to the team yeah. and see what everybody has going on and see if we could use fab um, in a good way yeah. and fab brings a lot of <laughs> no man <laughs> fab fab brings a lot of expertise to the field um, and to the team and we truly appreciate his uh, input well not only input but we just we truly appreciate his expertise mm -hmm. because 
you know, Fab does know social media. Fab does, uh, Fab knows a lot. And so anyways, Fab's back. And we're grateful and we're happy and we can't see, or we can't wait to see um, what, what lies ahead for us. We've got a lot going on. Wow. We've got a lot of events planned. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of stuff we're doing. We've got a lot of growth planned that we're trying to execute. So you guys just need to fasten your seat belts and hang on because Fab's back. I was going to run over. <laughs> nah. the car yeah. But and thank the, you guys for the warm welcome. I really appreciate you guys' comments. They were really, really sweet. Just to I'm going to get off the street for her. <laughs> I don't want ran over. <laughs> She's like, get out of my way. She's like, I'm trying to do my job. Yeah. I, I don't get out of this mailbox truck. I got to get right She's up like, on the mailbox. She's like, influencers, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> right? Go become a mailman. <laughs> so anyways, guys. Um, just a little update there. We just wanted to give you a little update because we know we just kind of sprung him into the closet <laughs> on Monday on surprise the hell out of you guys. And so we just wanted to kind of give you a little short story of what happened and how it all came about. Yes. And how he came back and so on and so forth. I'm telling you what, we had one hell of a storm here last night. It scared the hell out of all of us. Like wow. the dogs, people, everything. We have a very, we had a leak around one of our big expensive windows. Um, so they're gonna try to work on that today. So, you know, where there's problems, we solve. I can't believe you still have all these problems. <laughs> they never go away. I was like, for away. sure, like calm down. No, 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 never. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? See, this water down here is kind of just muddy brown. Mm -hmm. And then the closer you get up there, it's kind of greenish blue. <laughs> That's because all the water out of the pond comes here and goes that way. <laughs> People are like, why do you got greenish blue water in your pond, in your ditch? And they don't over there. <laughs> I'm like, because it overflows. My pond is overflowing. The water's always bluer on the other side. Well, that's what most people think. The grass is always greener on the other <laughs> side, too. Then they find out it's not. <laughs> mm, mm. So, anyways, you want to add anything else, Fab? No, I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys to see some fun change. Just... <laughs> Buckle up, you know, <laughs> you know how we are when we're together. <laughs> uh, laughs. Be prepared, be prepared, guys. Be prepared. So, with that said, um, you're gonna look forward to our Friday video because we're gonna do some shopping. Yes. Yes. Fab's favorite thing shopping, shopping, shopping. He's like, credit card, please. <laughs> as long as we're not going to tractor supply, <laughs> Home Depot. Now, funny thing is, is back when Fab was with me all the time. And we would drag him to Home Depot mm -hmm. and Tractor Supply and all those places. Mm -hmm. And he was like, this is not Neiman Marcus. This is not Saks Fifth Avenue. What the hell are you doing to me, Teresa? What are we doing here? Little did he know that by going to all those stores with me, it would prepare him <laughs> for his future. Isn't that crazy how life... Because now, one of his responsibilities is helping with the family mm -hmm. business that mm -hmm. his father had, which was a builder with the brother, right? Yep. So what's Fab have to do now? Oh, he has to go to Home Depot now. <laughs> <laughs> it's never going to escape me. So I might as well just embrace it, right? He has to go to Home Depot now and pick out things. And he has to do things at Home Depot. And I'm like, oh, look, Fab, you used to hate going to Home Depot with me. And now, and now he knows his way around Home Depot. Sure do. And Otherwise, he, I would have been coming. And he knows you. how to pick out this color gray. Yes. Right here. Because... Is this, is this gray pulling blue? No, it's pulling gray. <laughs> Good color match. <laughs> <laughs> so now, even when he's doing st the houses with his yeah. families, he's like, no, wrong color gray. Uh -huh. It's pulling blue. And then where do you remember that from? Teresa. Exactly. Teresa taught me that. Tile. Mm -hmm. All of it. Mm -hmm. So crazy. Mm -hmm. Little did we know. See, <laughs> I was preparing him for a future he did not know even existed. <gasps> So Little did we know. It's it's interesting how life just takes its many twists and turns. Oh. And it's all it's okay. You know what? Because guess what? If the highway was straight and and no hills and no mm -hmm. curves and it'd be boring as hell. We'd Very we'd true. be we'd be bored. Yeah. But instead we take the highway that's 
got twists and turns and curves and ups and downs. Keeps it interesting. Sometimes it frustrates us, but it keeps it interesting. Yeah. We're never Absolutely. bored. 100%. Look at you. You're like, what? You still have problems? Wouldn't life be boring if I didn't have problems? It sure would. <laughs> sure would. And we learn from our problems. So, anyways, for those of you that are in the vault, you're going to start seeing Mr. Fab in the vault. Yay! I stuck myself in there. Yeah, he's got a lot in. going on over there. Yeah, we got a lot going on. If in you're the not signed up for the vaults, I don't know what you're waiting for or what you're doing because I don't think y'all know exactly what's all in there because I didn't know. And when I stepped in there, I was like, "What? Uh huh. No, uh huh. <laughs> you're giving this for this? Okay. Uh huh. Huh. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 There's so much in the vault, and we are putting fresh new content in there every single week." And our coaching sessions on Thursday nights are just a blast. People are learning so much. We're transforming people's lives. It's so much fun. So anyways, guys, be prepared because we are buckling up and taking off. We ain't even starting at zero. We're starting at like 150. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, how fast can you go from zero to 60? <laughs> Hell, we no. already, we're already at 150. Like, yeah. We're yeah, using that yeah, horsepower. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, guys, stay tuned for Friday because Friday's going to be fun. Yay! Catch you later. Oh, yeah.